What's up guys, HTG Brian back with more Funko Fusion. We got the Umbrella Academy Level 3 story, Commission Mission. This one was actually really fun, but also extremely frustrating for me in my scouting run, as I had a bug that I encountered that did not show me one of the reels, and it was really frustrating. Ho ho, my bad, I'm already bad with the dad jokes. All right, anyways, moving along, here we are in the Funko Fun Factory, right here in the Umbrella Academy area. We're gonna take a quick swim, woohoo, and make our way over to door number three, Commission Mission. After loading up the level collectibles, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Now, this is the first level that I think we've experienced that does not have one cutscene throughout it. How is this story without cutscenes? Anyways, go ahead and flip the switch to open the door and immediately switch on over to Allison as we're gonna need her persuasion ability to go ahead and persuade some peoples to give us the tubes. Turns out there are four clues we need. One of them requires three tubes in order to access, uh, well, a machine. We're gonna go ahead and show you where all three of them are. And we even have quick links down below in the video description for them. So look at how handy that is. Basically go all the way to the end of the hallway on the right, crack open the purple door, take out a few baddies, walk up to the character holding the tube, and actually, if she runs or tries to escape, smack her or shoot her, which should stop her in her place, then you can use the ability to go ahead and persuade, which she will then drop the tube that we can take to go ahead and insert. So uh, if you've seen the show, you probably understand what's going on here. They're basically like little messages that get sent through like a pneumatic system. And there's the first of three. Once we get all three, there's gonna be a scroll that provides some information for us, a clue, if you will. And that will be one of four. So it's kind of confusing. We need three tubes for one clue. And we'll show you how to do it just in case I've confused you with my words. All right, in the same hallway, but across on the left, there's gonna be another purple door we need to shoot. There are a handful of bad guys. Once you take them out, there should be one last character in here holding a tube. Again, if they try and retreat, simply shoot or hit them, and they should stop in their tracks. Use the rumor ability to go ahead and make them drop it like it's hot, then pick up the tube and take it back to where we just were. All right, you can see there's an icon all the way at the end of the hallway. It is a little bit confusing too, because it looks like you have to go through that door that's closed, but that is not the case. So go ahead and make your way all the way down and around the hallway and insert the second one. Next up, we're gonna go upstairs. I'd like to note that pretty much any time you go up or down the stairs, the guys respawn. So be aware of that. So we took out everybody downstairs that was out, but they will be back. And the same will apply up top. So we're gonna go up, take out a couple bad guys, hang a left, and then over on the far left side, there is another door. We're gonna smack it open, and inside, yet again, a couple of bad guys and a person holding a tube. Shoot them, use the rumor ability for them to drop it, and then simply take it all the way back downstairs around the corner. Now, there are more guys upstairs, I believe. No, not this time. So we're going to go ahead and jump, drop down below. I did find that often when you're dropping from high levels and you would normally like squish into like a small little head, uh, you can actually do the roll right before you hit the ground and it'll save you from getting squished. All right, all three have officially been inserted. We've got a few bad guys we got to take down. And then in this office room at the end of the hallway, there should be a little spot, there it is, with a scroll. That is the first of four clues. So basically it'll show one of four in the upper right hand corner when these comic balloons are done ballooning. So we got a little tip that we need to go to the obsidian, but we're not quite sure where that is. And it leaves a question mark behind. Now I recommend switching over to number five as I absolutely love his, I guess it's a machine gun. And I'm gonna show you a nice little cheese that's gonna help tremendously because there are some ground pound attacks that are pretty hard to dodge. And of course, just being shot like crazy by bad guys and the handler. Uh, so check this out, shoot the door, hop up on this locker. Now, unfortunately she didn't spawn yet. I gotta show my face. So we've just revealed the handler. She's kind of like the boss. She's Cha-Cha and Hazel's boss. That, that's the best way to explain it. Um, she's also after number five. And what we're gonna do here is just hang out on this locker 
and hang out, like literally hang out on the locker and shoot around the corner. There is the rule of three. And once you have officially taken her down three times, she will teleport and that little chest next to her will open, giving us clue number two. There are some moments that seem like she's never going to stop shooting and never going to drop that bubble, but she does, trust me. So, I mean, feel free to fight this however you want, but those ground pound attacks come pretty quick, and I found myself getting attacked with it every time, losing health. I just found that this was so much easier, and I figured I'd share it with you guys too. So, we got two down, one to go, and like I said, it's going to pop that chest open and give us clue number two, and then we're going to head back upstairs to go handle some biz up there's. All right, any time now, Handler. And boy, you can shout. All right, so she is done did for now. We'll crack this open. And there's actually two collectibles in this room, too. You got a Foxo part on the ground, and there's also one of the dolls that we're going to need, too. So according to this, we can reset time by doing the seven. What? How do we do that? So just bits and pieces of the storyline. And again, I cannot recommend watching this show, especially if you've enjoyed this level at all. Up the stairs and right across the hallway in the first door is going to be our next spot of interest. We do get attacked, so I'm going to take care of these bad guys first. Once they're done dead, we'll go ahead and show you what you needs to do. All right, so on this TV screen, there is a picture of an exploding moon. The tip even tells us that. Now, over on the right-hand wall there, there are a couple of different screens. And if you notice, this one right there, it has a certain code that we're supposed to flip the switches on. So use number five and his spatial jumps to go through these different rooms. You're going to flip on the first two. So teleport, flip it on, teleport, flip it on. Teleport again, skip that one. Do not turn on number three. Turn on number four, skip number five, and then turn on number six. So that is going to go ahead and activate the power grid to the terminal under the TV, which will give us our next scroll, clue, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and pick that up and read away. The exploding moon caused the box lips on Earth. What? So, yeah, uh, there's kind of some spoilery stuff here, uh, but maybe not. All right, now that we, whoop, whoop, whoops, whoops, whoops. Now that we've taken care of those bad guys, we'll go ahead and leave this room and hang a right down the hallway, which, a right, thank you, and we should find ourselves with a purple door. In fact, there's two purple doors that lead into a classroom. We're going to go ahead and shoot the first one and take out the books on the teacher's desk, and then we're just for funsies going to take out the second door in the back. Use the molding machine to go ahead and craft a gramophone, which is going to be way useful here in a second. We're going to actually hop onto the teacher's desk and place it. Once we do that, the person on the desk to the right is actually going to drop a reel for a projector. That's really nice of them. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and grab that and take it to the back. So this is what didn't work in my scouting run. I did not. That didn't light up. I couldn't interact with that. I'm not sure why. If that happens to you, the only thing I can suggest is restarting the level. The old IT crowd, have you tried turning it off and on again? It's about the only thing I can recommend. Eventually, uh, we get attacked some more. We're going to pick up that scroll, and it's going to give us the fourth clue. And we're just about out of here. According to the briefcase room, what? We got to go to the briefcase room? Not sure where that is. But that drops the fun key for us, and now we can go ahead and... Head our way out of here, just as promised. Only thing is, this key doesn't get us out of here, out of here. It takes us up to another level where we have a mini boss battle. Definitely recommend grabbing that can of soda before heading up the stairs, as there is likely going to be a lot of damage happening to you. Well, and some bad guys too, but the goal here is to take out a couple of bad guys and then try your best to focus on the handler. Now, I know that it's going to be a little bit overwhelming, but definitely focus on the handler when that blue shield drops. So off in the back corner, the red orb baddie did spawn for us, and I actually had him spawn down in a hallway in my scouting run too. So again, another conflict of where things are going to spawn. Now, amongst all this chaos, don't forget to look for that ground pound wave, sort of indicating that she has put down her shield, giving you access to go ahead and take her down. Now, it's pretty much the rule of three here again, meaning you have three waves of attacking her. 
you'll go ahead and see her shield go back up. I retreat into another office, kind of giving myself a, a little bit of cover here, take out a handful of the bad guys, not all of them, because they are going to continuously respawn. While hiding in the office, make sure to keep an eye out for that blue wave from her ground pound, indicating that she has turned her shield off, revealing herself and making her vulnerable to our attacks, which should be coming. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It's like a magic trick. Take note of the color of the damage text, too. It goes from white to orange, sort of indicating that we've gone from phase one to phase two. Eventually, it leads to red X's, which then she'll put her shield up. I'm going to retreat into this office. If you look at my health, I'm not doing so hot, so I'm going to go ahead, just as a precaution, drink a quick soda, and back out I go to. Now, again, we're just trying to take out a couple bad guys. Never going to get them all. Never going to get them all. We got to watch out for that blue wave. I got my back turned to her, which is not smart. Wait for it. Wait for it. Just like before, it seems like it could go on forever. But eventually, she unshields, revealing herself. And you can see the red text now. That's a good sign. And keep on with the keeping on. Hopefully, we'll get her knocked. Come on. See, notice I'm not even attacking the guys. I'm just sort of avoiding them, trying to take her out. I know it's difficult to do, but that's my best advice. After three waves of that, or successful waves, I should say, it should reveal the purple chest. That's going to actually give us what we need to get out of here. Feel free to search the area, though, as there are a few other items, including another soda machine. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that freebie. I'm going to grab this key. And I am out of here. Gonna swipe it like it's hot and grab that crown and move on to the next level. Woo to the hoo hoo hoo. Hey, that crown looks good on you there, number five. <laughs> All right, collect it. We did. And look at that. We're actually gonna cross over the 600,000. That's, we're getting up there. Nowhere near that 5 million for that trophy achievement, but we're getting it done. Did. All collectibles will be found in the fun play, as I'm sure you're getting sick and tired of me hearing, but I never know who skips around in the videos and who watches the whole thing. So officially back in the Funko factory, and we only have two more Umbrella Academy levels left, and one of them is officially unlocked. So we'll be jumping into that next. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. And of course, check us out on social media as well. Dougie Fresh is hard at work working on our trophy achievement guide for this game. Lots of information already there. And depending on when you're watching this, it may even be complete. It's always fun when people are watching at like 20, 30, and they're like, yeah, man, it's definitely complete. I've been, yeah, it's been six years. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. As always, until next time.